Fellow Ugandans, the workers as well as the unemployed, those who are toiling on a daily basis, the corporate workers as well as the Nekolida Jang, the border border riders, the taxi drivers, the farmers, the industrial workers, the cattle keepers, the children and students, Ugandans within the country and those outside, the young Ugandans as well as the elderly, mothers and fathers, I greet you all. I am humbled, privileged and honored to talk to you, my fellow countrymen and women, as I announce my interest in the presidency for the Republic of Uganda. My name is Nancy Kalembe, the daughter of the Most High God. I was born and bred in Uganda to Mr. George Patrick Bagea and Aida Sise Kuvaza. I come from a family of patriots, great men and women who have served this nation right from independence. Most recently, my father, George Patrick Bagea, served as LC5 Iganga district. Earlier, he had been elected to the Constituent Assembly and was one of the honorable people who wrote one of the best constitutions in the world, the Ugandan Constitution. I have served both in the public and private sector in East Africa and West Africa. I have been an employee and an entrepreneur. The Uganda that I want to serve is a nation that has a checkered history. Many of you will remember how we gained our independence, how we suffered through the different civil wars and food rationing as well as insecurity. How Ugandans jointly liberated our countrymen and women from suffering. At this point, it would be unwise not to take this opportunity to acknowledge that Uganda in the past has been served by President Kabaka Edward Mutesa II, Dr. Milton Obote, Field Marshal Idi Amin Dada, Professor Yusuf Lule, President Godfrey Binaisa, General Tito Okelo Lutwa, and most recently, General Kaguta Yoweri Museveni. Each one of them has received their fair share of praise and criticism, but I will leave that judgment to Ugandans and history. No matter how good one is, leadership is intergeneration. And this is that time that the old generation must hand over the baton of leadership to our generation. Uganda has never known a peaceful transition of power. And this is the time we can have one. This is the time the young population of Uganda demonstrates to the world what a blessing it is. This is the time that the unemployment of the youth is annihilated through new knowledge and new technology. This is the time the new challenges in the region like integration requires energy of body, mind, and spirit. The new changes in Africa, the world, and the fourth industrial revolution all require new energy, new technology, and new thinking. How glorious and joyful it would be for this generation to hand over the reins of leadership to their sons and daughters for whom they fought so hard to liberate as they retire to be advisors in the background. I avail myself to my country, Uganda, offering service and leadership at this opportune time, not for the sake of diversity, but I ascend to the podium because of the conviction born within my heart, the vision of what I aspire to see and the passion that inspires me. I am the embodiment of the change that Uganda needs in the third decade of the 21st century. As we focus on sustainable development goals, Africa Agenda 2063 and Uganda's Vision 2040. I come to you because Uganda has need
for new energy, a crisp and renewed leadership that will underpin her unity in diversity. A leadership that gives pride of place to each of the 56 nationalities in Uganda. True ministration to each of my fellow compatriots with integrity, inclusiveness, openness, and accountability for all across all barriers of ethnicity, political affiliation, or religion. I will serve as the Good Shepherd in the knowledge that a fish usually starts rotting from the head, which is captured effectively in my mother tongue. Uganda has in the last 57 years of independence attempted to make critical strides in health, education, sports, ICT, and other sectors. But there is still a lot to be done in these areas. Despite the best intentions of leaders, they have run their course and whatever else they promise to do only amounts to what Henry David Theory, the poet described as, improved means to an unimproved end. They change the means, but the end does not change. Fellow Ugandans, I come to you to serve because this land Uganda, once famously described as the Pearl of Africa, needs fresh ideas. I embody freshness as informed by my experience in women empowerment, entrepreneurship, media, tourism, advertising, the service industry, banking and finance, agriculture and agro-processing. It is only a fresh Uganda that will make her people prosper economically, socially and politically and make Uganda a key player in the East African community and Africa and the world as a whole. Fellow countrymen, join me to help realize that new Uganda. For God and my country, God bless you all.